is what we need to do to lock down the character. And I'm going to go through this pretty fast. You've already been exposed to most of this um, in previous assignments, but we need to get this done. And then after that, we'll start doing the um, test animations for our characters and tweaking them after that. This will be due on Wednesday. So make sure you have these ready to go. Uh, and then let's get this started. So let's assume we have everything done. And I'm going to take these items, put them in my blend shape layer. And blend shape layer should have our eyelashes, our shape lips, and of course our blend shapes for our character. We're going to turn that off right now, and then we're going to focus strictly on what we have in here. Now, for our world group, we're locking and hiding all of our nodes, and we're going to leave visibility on. Scale group, we're going to lock and hide all the nodes, and we're going to leave vis visibility on, and we're not going to lock and hide visibility. Controls, same thing. Geo, same thing. And locked to hide. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn this off. We don't want anybody to see that, to mess with it. And we'll move on from there. And then let's go inside of our scale group. We have our locators group. Lock and hide. I'm going to turn that off. Joints group. I'm going to lock and hide that. And then we have our other ones. So our skeleton. And then I just realized I do not have a group for my COG, but that's okay. Um, part of me wants to put this in a group, so I can just use that as a holder to lock and hide everything else. Um, really doesn't matter as much, but we're going to lock and hide that. We'll leave that turned on. COG. Obviously, we're going to turn that off. We're going to turn off its visibility. And then for all of these groups here, we're going to lock and hide them. And because I don't have any shape lips, I'm sorry, any PSA shape nodes using as controllers, then I don't have to worry about um, when I turn my skeleton off in my hierarchy, those objects being affected. We have very little things that are directly parented to our um, joints, which is handy. The blend shapes note, we're going to lock and hide that. Now at this point, you've already had your scale set up, and that's we've already taken care of that in our previous lecture. So I'm going to select these, lock and hide, I'm going to turn it off, then we have all of these, I'm going to lock and hide those, turn them off, and then my IK handles. And these are the ones that are in my arm. And let's check something out. I want to make sure my rig is completely scalable. And it is. So, what I'm going to do that's the one for my spine. These are the ones for my arms. I'm just going to select these. 
hit the G key. I'm going to name this I case. I'm not too worried of that being sin. The world space is not moving according to that. I'm just going to lock and hide this and turn it off. Geo scale. This is for things that are not, for geometry that's not bound. So I'm going to lock and hide that. I'm going to turn it off. I'm also going to turn it, leave it on. Leave it on. And my individual groups, I'm going to lock and hide those groups. And we're going to leave them on. Controls. We just did that. Place me. We want everything for our place me. And now we have to go to our individual controls. But let's take care of the groups first. And my groups. Select all of those. I'm going to lock and hide those. And the individual controls. So my lower torso control, that's just going to be rotation. I'm going to lock and hide everything but that. And I can literally just click on each one and do it. This mid one, same thing, we just want rotation. This upper one, same thing, we just want rotation. My move me, translation, rotation, we don't need scale. Help controls. And all we need is rotation. My foot controls. Translation, rotation, we don't need scale. And now my FK controls for my legs. All we want are our rotations. Control. All we want are our rotations. My head control. All of one of my rotations. Jaw control. All of one are my rotations. I'm going to select my right eye control, left eye control, main eye control, and all I want is my translations. And the, and the attributes that I created for it. For my emotes control, we don't need any of this channels from translate to scale because we're just using these. For my clavicle controls, all we need is our translations, and more importantly, we just need translate Y. So I'm going to select everything but translate Y and visibility. And we're going to lock and hide that. My FK shoulder controls, all we need are rotations. My elbow control, all we need are our rotations. And we're going to leave it so they can rotate along all of its axes. Which is okay. Um, it's not very realistic, but it'll give us some type of cartoon movement. Now, the forearm control. We only need to keep our rotate X. And you look here on this side. We only need rotate X. And we're gonna lock and hide everything but rotate X. controls we want everything but our rotations so we're going to keep our rotation I kind of said that backwards but that's okay we're going to keep our rotations and select our translate scales lock and hide 
Now, for my IK controls for both hands, all we need are our translations. The reason why we're locked in hiding because we don't need so we don't need an animator to actually key anything for scale, and we really don't want them to rotate it. We didn't set it up for that, so we are essentially setting this up so that it makes it harder for somebody to break. Now, this is kind of an abstract because you're the only ones that are going to use these rigs, but if you're getting a group project or you're working on a freelance project in the company as a TD, this is something you're going to want to do to a certain extent. Um, of course, everything you want to do is going to be based upon their pipeline. So I select both the hand controls, scales, I'm going to lock and hide those. My pull vector controls, all we want really are our translations. So we're going to lock and hide everything but that, but those, and our um, visibility. And now we're just going to neatly put this all back where it came from in our outliner. this one, our curve, we're going to create a, well we already have this here, hide, and we're going to go ahead and put that in there, and we're also going to restrict this layer and turn it off as well. We have a geo, we have our clothes, and then we have our blend shapes. And we can move those now. Alright. And also let's go back to our scale and locked. I'm going to go ahead and throw these in our hide layer as well. Make it a little bit harder to get to. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to create some We're going to go a little bit old school and we're going to create two more layers, well three more. One, joints, we're going to make this yellow. And we're going to backtrack a little bit, let's turn these back on. this thing is just to select my group skeleton, put it in my joints, they're all colored yellow, and we need RT joints, it's going to be red, we need our LT joints. Those are going to be blue. And let's go ahead and do the right side first. We'll add that to the right. Set my thigh. We'll add that to the left. We have this one here. We're going to add that to our right. So bold, my eyes, right, eyes left, and this is really overkill and doesn't make sense, but we're doing it. All right, and then we're going to create two more layers, controls. RT 
is the same thing we did with our skeleton. So the good thing is I have a overarching, let's hide these again, and if we need them, there's something I can look for them, not this there, it's just further controls. So let's move this down, Boom. there we go, restrict that, all right. RT, once again, is going to be red. LT is going to be blue. Anything in the center is going to be yellow. Alright. So let's select our Controls. Stick that in there. And now we'll just select everything on our right side. for this but I'm not um, and that's using the LT and RT that we use as our designation for each of our respective sides Sure your weights are good make sure you got everything set up uh, because if it's not then you have to unlock and unhide all this stuff and do a test before you get all this done and to wrap this up let's restrict our body layer and the clothes layer and let's say we're going to set up for animation don't know what's on that layer so I'm going to delete it move this one up and the only other thing you want to do is make sure your textures are linked to the, 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 the shaders um, and they should be and I'm just going to do a file save as save as a version up not saving on my last version. And then I'm going to do one other thing. Once it's done saving. We want to save the scene. I'm sorry, as also final. it you have a great day and I will talk to you later